Hello folks, I'm OdinSpac33, just pausing it real quick before I get ambushed on part number 104 of Tales of the Abyss. Uh, on the last part, did we get Mew Fire 2 on the last part? That sounds about right. Uh, we were headed to Mount Roniel. Now, up, I feel like we did that two parts ago, we got the Mew Fire 2. Actually, that sounds better. Uh, what did we do on the last part? We came to Mount Roniel, was there anything else that we did in particular? I don't think so. Yeah, we definitely had Mew Fire too, because we started last part like at the save point in Mount Rodeo. We left. Then we got Healing Force. That's right, we got Healing Force. So everyone caught in the avalanche here managed to get out alive? Apparently so. Why would the Major be cooperating with Moe's? Their goals were completely opposite. They've already cooperated several times. Perhaps it suits their respective purposes. Or they may both simply be using one another. Moe's thinks the God Generals follow him, but the God Generals seem to have other ideas. What's this? ND 1999, in commemoration of the birth of my daughter, Meryl. What is it, Luke? Find something? No, just some trash. Uh-huh. Was Natalia's real name, right? The birth year is the same, too. I'm sorry. We stopped because of all my chatter. Let's hurry onward. Alright, so we have this curious locket that seems to have Natalia on it. Huh. Find out about this. We got healing force for Natalia, speaking of. Uh, in this part, we're going to proceed with some story, but we're going to get a very useful uh, upgrade. Um, that's going to help us get a lot of stuff. Why are we talking about Natalia's birthday? Oh, Luke's trying to do some sleuth work right here. Yeah, I'd rather not talk. I feel like you can use Mew Fire 2 in here to get some bonus goodies, but there's a real reason we need it in here. Uh, I can't remember. There's a cutscene coming up, so that's why I'm kind of trying to keep my chatter to a minimum here. Because, uh, any second now, it's just going to pop up. Maybe, I guess it's down here. Maybe once we get off this elevator. Oh. No sign of the jewel here, either. Is that sword the key of Lorelei? You again! Ash, please tell us. Where is Lorelei being kept? Is Van still alive? You can contact Lorelei, right? You know where it is, don't you? No. I haven't heard Lorelei since the land was lowered. It won't respond to me, either. So it's no use, even to an original. In that case, would you at least tell us what you know? Ash, please? From the start, Lorelei has wanted to be freed from the core. Lorelei contacted us because it thought staying in the core would harm the planet. That's what Lorelei was saying when it inhabited Tyr's body. So Lorelai is being held within the planet's core? No, not anymore. It disappeared from the core when you defeated Van. Then where? During our final contact, Lorelai said it had been trapped inside Van. So my brother is alive. But the Commandant was really hurt. How could he have possibly... I don't know, but Van's absorbed Lorelai into his body. The seventh phonon has the power to heal. I suppose Van was lucky. So freeing Lorelei means freeing it from within Van? That's right. Lorelei wants to leave Aldrin's gravity and become the seventh layer of the phone belt. I'm looking for the jewel of Lorelei to help make that happen. This sword won't work as the key without the jewel inlaid into it. Oh, yeah, Lorelei said to use the key to free it. Just like in Yulia's legends, you imbue the key with the essence of Lorelei and guide it to the phone belt. But where is the jewel? It's your fault! If you had gotten the key from Lorelei, none of this would have happened. Me? It must have flown out through one of the Sephiroth. The God Generals are looking for it too. If those bastards get to the key first, we won't be able to set Lorelei free. If we can't free Lorelei, the planet storm will grow stronger to create more seven phonons. Destroying the world. Exactly. Ash, wait up! Where are you going? The jewel wasn't here either. 
I'm looking somewhere else. Then we'll look with you. I have no intention of getting friendly with a replica. It's because I'm just a replica that I need your help. Do you really think you have any right to say that? Stop it. This is no time for the two of you to be arguing. I'm going on to the next Sephiroth. That's the only way I'll find the jewel you failed to receive. You all do whatever you want. I suppose I could let you know if I find something. Let's leave the jewel to Ash and head on to Batical to look for that scorer, shall we? Fine. So once again, Ash and I go our separate ways. Why does it always end like this? Don't you realize? Huh? Never mind. Don't you realize you only have two or one of the same person with the fighting style that you have in your party at the same time? There's only six members of your party allowed. <laughs> That's what Guy is actually saying, but I mean, not really. Yeah, you think you're going to get Ash to join us? <laughs> no. Is save point here? I guess I could have done that last part. Huh. I didn't realize that. Anywho, um, we're supposed to be going to Batical, but now is where we start going crazy with this side quest. And... To be honest, I don't remember exactly where you have to go for this, because it's kind of maze-like. But, uh, there's some things you gotta do. And I think this is part of it. Pretty sure. Okay. We can move this. Do we want to? Okay, this bounces stuff. Hmm. I'm trying to remember how to do this. It's very hard. I think you want to keep that there. There might be one up here you have to move? That sounds right. Or this might be the origin part. This might be where you have to start this. I think. But you have to go down there to be able to access these statues. Yeah. We can't do this from here. I mean, I think we have to come back here, but we have to mess with those statues first. Yeah, this is a very complicated puzzle, but we need to do it in order, like I said, there's a there's a key upgrade that you need to do this for, and if we don't do it, then, you know, we're going to miss a bunch of side stuff in the game, and that's just not happening, so. Did I just get back attacked? Oh, no, I didn't. Alright. We got some ice lizards and some ice bits. All of which weak to fire, I'm pretty sure, so... Just m mess him up with the flomberge. Oh, you know what I should put on? I keep forgetting. I should put on Devil's Inferno, because it's a fire proof. I should also put on, um... What's it called? Havoc Strike? Because it's a, uh... Oh, Greg, I got paralyzed. Fantastic! It's a move that can activate a fire thing, so... Let's get some burning havoc on the go here. That's the wrong thing. Well, be gone because you're about to get wrecked by Mystic Cage. I guess I can power charge while I'm at it. <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> I love Jade. All his victory quotes. Everything. Jade's the man. Alright. Uh, that is the way back, so we don't go there. Way back. Uh, more ice bats. I don't know why I keep saying beer like that. We're gonna bring it on here. Let's do a combo with the the new uh, <laughs> arts I just said. I mean, they're not new, but they're different, so. I don't really use Devil's Inferno too much, but it's useful. I mean, these guys are weak to fire, you know? So it's not bad. I mean, all my arts are fire elemental because I'm wearing the full on burge. But anyway. Um, and fire field can also activate coil on steel, which I'm not using anymore because it's recovery effect with the grass chamber. It's like so minute. I feel like you'd have to have maximum hit points in order to get like 9999 to have a, any effect out of it. You might be able to get like a thousand out of it at that point, but it recovers like nothing. Like barely any kind of an effect, so I'm not bothering. There's just no point. This way back to the field, really?
Do we have to go in and out of here a bunch? I guess we do. It sucks, because we're going to have to do that, and then we're going to have to go back and manipulate the statues. We're going to open the door, we're going to have to bed head back again. Lots of loading, lots of avoiding guys on the map. So I really don't want to mess with them. Is that, that's the entrance right there, isn't it? Yeah. These skunk guys, man, they kind of look like skunks. They got that uh, color scheme to them. This is the area where it's like really blizzardy, right? Like there's lots of snow and stuff here. Yeah. It's pretty nuts. The Vorpal Sword was down there. So I guess you would technically go get it now. But uh, I didn't have to. Because I just got it earlier on and it became a much more powerful weapon because of that. Alright, so yeah. So what you want to do here is that's the origin there. And I think what you have to do is you have to make like a cross pattern of like... Oh, we should probably do this last. But you gotta make like a cross pattern. But we'll, we'll, we'll set this up right. So like this. Like that. It's not hard. But you gotta set it up like this. And we, there's another thing up there we gotta fix too. Can we not get to it? There should be a way to get over there. I don't know how. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know how to get over there. Which is kind of a big deal, because we need to. How do I get up there? Because we can't go through here. This kind of looks like something. No, I'm just crazy. Alright, well we have this set up, so we just have to figure out how to get over there now. I don't know how. Well, there's something I'm missing, so I gotta find out where it is. I'll find out how to get over there. I don't know how to do it. We might have missed it in the previous area. It might be around here, to be honest. Oh, there's some treasure chests up there. Let's fight this Yeti. Straight out of Hero Quest. Not really. <laughs> Reference to my Hero Quest stream, which who knows, maybe that'll be ancient by the time this comes out, or by the time you see this in the future, who knows, right? That could be extremely dated reference. I don't know why I did that, but I'm doing a Shadow Fury. I keep forgetting I have Havoc Strike set to that. I keep trying to do down on the C stick. There we go, some burn and havoc. There we go, lots of fire damage. You're dead. Uh, you're about to get Infernal Prisoned. More Demon Fist. More Light Spear Cannon, because why not? I think I can probably kill this guy before you cast Infernal Prison there, Jade. Alright, we gotta get these treasure chests. And I think you'd need Mew Wing. That sounds right. Yeah. Mithril Circlet. Spe oh, Special Gel is good. I feel like Mithril Circlet is kind of outdated at this point. Ooh, maybe there's a way up there. That might be what we have to do. We might need Mew Wings. There might be a secret dungeon entrance up one of these things. Maybe up here. Yeah, because there's some ice there. Yeah. That's a guarantee. Might be an enemy here. Yeah. Eh, don't just avoid him. Yeah, here we go. Secret dungeon entrance. This might be how we get over there. It's kind of weird because we're going in through the right here, but who knows, right? What? There's a event? What's this all about? I don't know. But there's 15,000 gold there. Can we just light this? Okay. That was easy. <laughs> That's it. Wow, what a puzzle. So hard. That was the most difficult thing I've ever done in this game. <laughs> that might be a shortcut back, I'm thinking. Of course I'm over limited and I get paralyzed. Oh, I can still get him? Is this just not working? Maybe maybe status effects don't affect you while you're in over limit because I'm not getting paralyzed. That could have just been luck, but uh, I'm still paralyzed here. It's only a matter of time before I get. Oh, okay, maybe not. 
Oh, I wanted to running havoc um there's some cool combos you can do with Luke. I mean, guy's got some too, but I find Luke's got the potential for some really neat stuff. I don't know why. I, I like his arts are a little more unique, mainly because like they're not really in any other Tales games. I know obviously Demon Fist is in Sonic Thrust, but a lot of them are kind of like unique to them. All right, maybe this is the way to go. Who knows? Red lavender. Oh, that's sweet. Alright, this will be easy. No, this won't be as easy as I thought. Okay, like this is gonna work. It's just. Yeah, be slightly on angle. Did I just hit it? No, it's gotta go through with one shot. Why is this not doing this? There we go. <laughs> this wasn't happening. It wanted nothing to do with what I was saying. So yeah, there's lots of side area here, eh? Lots of side area. Like you don't have to even go. You know, this is completely optional. Everything I'm doing. Uh, red lavender, by the way. Um, yeah, we have a bunch of these things. I haven't really been using them. We need some tech points. I want to see Natalia, but eh. yeah, yeah, we're giving Natalia physical attack. Uh, you know what? Let's give that to Luke. Agility? I'll give that to Luke. Alright. Yeah, Natalia has a really low starting TP for some reason. Alright, what's this thing all about? Oh, this is teaching you how to use the reflector thing. Yeah. Because you have to use this for the ultimate puzzle. Which is over here. I guess this this has got to lead us to I'm, like I'm kind of looking at the architecture of how this place is laid out, and this this has got to be over here. Yeah, it is. I wonder if there's a way over there that I don't have to go back. I really hope so, but I don't know. I'm not 100 percent on that. Cause they're all lined up for me, right? All right, so we got to do this. That basically taught us how to light all these. That's what that was all about. Yeah, we got to shoot from there. That's the starting. That's the origin point there. The puzzle is set up. Now it's just a matter of getting down there and using Mew Fire. I I really hope there is a shortcut here, because that would be nice. There was. It looked like there was another way to go. That might have just. This might just lead to treasure. I don't know. Because it's been a while since I've done this. I know what the ultimate goal is over here. We're getting that. We're obviously getting the side quest item. I, I think we'll, we should be able to get it by the end of this uh, video. We're 18 minutes in. I mean, we obviously could. I could make this an hour part if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but I could. But it looks like there could be something down here. No, it's just a treasure chest. The wind... Do we have a wind keep? Is this the thing that I bought like 8,000 of a while back? No, I, I that was flare capes, right? And the only thing I'm missing is uh, one that resists earth. Yeah, that's the only one I'm missing. Maybe earth's the best one, because all these capes seem to go in order of strength. I don't know if there's one for light and dark. I want to say there's probably not. You don't have to really worry about light and dark attacks too much. Only a couple characters use them, mostly just bosses. But the elements can be helpful, like having stuff resistant against ice would be helpful here. I'm pretty sure all the enemies here attack with like ice elemental attacks, so. Alright, we are going to have to go back, unfortunately, just to shoot these torches. It kind of blows, but hey, it's worth it in the long run, all these loading screens. I know we haven't done a lot of fighting. That's kind of a shame. But luckily, once we do this... Let's just say traversing the world and doing anything is just going to become considerably easier in the future. That's, that's basically uh, how that's going to go. Uh, technically, by getting the upgrade we're about to get, we're actually skipping the order of getting another one. Um, this is like the ultimate of this upgrade. There's actually one in between that we could get right now. The only thing about it is the area it's at is a side dungeon and it's stupidly hard for us right now, so it's not even worth it, I don't think. 
Um, I mean, we'll get it to show it off, but I honestly don't think you need it at all. I think this upgrade just negates the need for that, uh, for that upgrade. So that's a little neat fact, I guess. Uh, Burning Havoc, please? Oh, I just hit, like, all of them. I actually, I think I just hit all of them. Healing Wind, we'll let you die. He's there, Kratos. He is, after all, the last member of the DK crew. And if you don't know what I'm referencing, then I'm not surprised because um, I was only shown it today. And I don't want to say who showed it, just because I kind of want him to see if he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe I'll. Eh, it doesn't really matter. It was. I'll just say his name. It was Slip Kirby. He's a good buddy of mine. <laughs> He showed it to me earlier today, and I, I laughed. It was pretty funny. Maybe I'll just link what... Yeah, I'll just do that. I'm just going to link what I'm talking about. And it's hilarious. Especially, you have to have played Tales of Symphonia for it to matter. Just so you know, because um, it in no way relates to um, Abyss. And also, there's lots of like Tales of Symphonia spoilers in there. So, um, if you don't want that, then just so you know. But yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just trying to find things to fill the conversation now, because um, I feel like we're going to be going another eight minutes. I keep running into these fights anyway. I, I really should be like running from these fights at this point. Because really, we just need to... Um, oh yeah, block that, buddy. This guy is unbelievably dead. Well, actually, I don't think I hurt him that much. Mr. Cage does a lot of damage. Yeah, I didn't think he was dead. I didn't think he was dead. I don't even know why I did that. That was dumb. He's in bloody howling? Okay. I denied you. Um, what you're cooking at for this? There's still two stars? Come on, Annis. Try to get Annis to master cooking, like, once again. Hitting stuff on my desk. Uh, because she can get... A unique title. Everyone can get a unique, ti a unique title for uh, mastering cooking, but Annis can get two unique titles for mastering cooking. I don't think it's a. I don't think the other one is like a costume. Pretty sure it's not. But um, I imagine it has some kind of amazing overworld effect. Probably like better cooking or something. All right, let's see this in action. See if I do this right. Oh, it's still going. Oh man. Now, the gates are opening. Now we gotta go all the way around. But, guys, we just we just did a pretty important puzzle here. Because, you know what's funny? I was, <laughs> I like I said, when I was running through this game, just to get the uh, side stuff all opened up again, because I had to do the game clear data. It's funny, I didn't have to do any of this stuff, because you, you don't need to do this to beat the game. I'm running from this fight, by the way. It's actually a thing that's happening because I want to end the video. Uh, because we probably got at least one actual fight I want to show off remaining. So I'm just going to avoid this. And this guy too. But it's funny, you don't even need to do any of this stuff. And my game my game clear time was so much shorter than... Well, not so much shorter. It's probably about an hour less now. Probably because of all the grinding, maybe a couple hours now. But yeah, considerably shorter game time. Then when I played, when I just was goofing off and I put it to normal difficulty, I just stomped everything. Like, it wasn't even hard at all. But yeah. Once we get this upgrade, I'm probably just going to call it a video. And I might, um, I probably will, just letting you guys know now, that I'm probably just going to off-screen, um, from where we get this, back to, um, the Albior. That's probably where I'll start the next video. Because we gotta backtrack through this entire area, I think. So I just really don't want to do that. So anyway, this is where we gotta go, right? Yeah. Don't gotta use no more of that. See, you need Mew Wing in order to do this. I just realized that because you can't get to that side area. So you need Mew Fire too for this. You need Mew Wing. All of which are missable, of course. All for this amazing upgrade. What's the field? Something's on the field? Yeah, that's right. We got yet more map exploration. Yeah, we're going to definitely end it here. 
All right, guys. Now, where is it? <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> Watch. All right, uh, that's a very hard monster, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if you don't recognize those guys, they look like the enemies from uh, Tales of Symphonia, actually. Where is this thing? It should be very visible. There it is. Uh, we're gonna try fighting this. I don't know how it's gonna fare, but we're gonna try. I don't know if we'll win. I really don't want a PCU. Anyway, here is the refined flight stone. So with this, you can fly through force fields with the Albuer. There's lots of areas in the game where it's been like, you can't proceed due to a thunderstorm, or something like that. Well, now we can with this. Um, it says the Albuer can land in even more areas. I'm pretty sure you can just land everywhere with this thing now. Uh, and we're going to try fighting this guy? Yeah, we are. I don't know if it's going to go well, to be honest. If we start getting s smoked, I'm running. Oh, these... I don't even recognize these guys. And for good reason. Uh, they're not even scanned. Oh, wow. These things are like bosses, basically. Holy fudge. These things might be hard. They seem really slow. Eh, it doesn't do too much damage to me. I guess I don't need Jade on specifically that mode, because these guys don't seem to resist this. Yeah, these guys aren't even that bad, actually. Oh, these guys are bad. I mean, they're pretty strong. Oh, I can use a... Oh, I could have used Devil's Maw. Dang it. Okay, well, these guys are doing a lot of damage to me, so I gotta be careful here. Yeah, he's almost dead. Here, yeah, let's do some light blast. You're dead. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, these guys are even that bad. I've never fought these guys before. This isn't the enemy I was thinking of, by the way. There's another enemy I was thinking of. It was here. Okay, frigid coffin works too. Once again, not the thing I was gonna do. All right, well, there's some new enemies. All right, guys, I'm gonna get going though. So thank you for watching. I've been Odin's back 33. Not the enemy I was thinking of, but eh, doesn't really matter. I'd really not fight the enemy that I was thinking of anyway. Actually, I have no idea how to get out of here. And hey, we got a fight. And we got back attacked. Same enemies? Oh no, here's another new enemy, the Jabberwocky. You're just Jabberwock. Let's leave this in. Wow, he's got 200. Look how much health he has. He has a lot of health. Uh, in terms of stats, he's not that much uh, tougher than anything we fought, though. Oh, he stole Grass Chamber? Oh, I gotta leave this in. Sick! Well, this is a long video. I didn't even know half this stuff. Like, actually, this is all news to me. I'm waking this guy up. With, uh, I thought I would have woken him up. This is so cool. I didn't know about half this stuff. You still grass chambers off these guys? What? Who knows this thing was a thing? I gotta leave this in. I guess there's a bunch of rare monsters over here. We'll come back, because we'll be able to come back to this area. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm steel set. Oh, that's right. She's just Grand Cross now. Oh, there's that spell in effect. Alright, let's make sure she uses uh, this. Am I still gonna get light blast off? Yeah. This is like basically like fighting a boss, but not that strong of a boss. Because uh, he's not really doing anything, he just has a lot of health. This might be the longest Tails video ever made. And there's Guy's new uh, art, Final Cross. Uh, actually, one of the two requirements, actually, it's like three or four requirements, but one of the two. Like essential requirements for his uh, second Mystic Art. 
we won't be getting the uh, the other component to that for quite a while. Can I do Devil's Maw now? Here we go. That's pretty cool. Actually, me and Guy are messing this guy up quite a bit. Cluster Raid. Oh, that's with uh, Holy Lance. Oh, I got two resurrections. I ain't, I ain't too afraid of a guy being dead. Now, are they both gonna cast that? They might. Yep, she's about to cast it. Oh no! I got over limit again. What? Okay. <laughs> so much over limit. Okay, I really need that healing circle. And how are you not in range of this? Are you joking? Come on. Garbage. This guy almost dead? Holy fudge. I didn't realize that like, that much health was that much health. I guess combined with his defense and the fact that I don't have Jade, who does way more damage than probably Guy. Uh, he's casting magic? Oh, flame burst. Oh, he's wrecked, uh guy with that. Wait a minute, he's a regular enemy! He just over-limited? Didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, they're both... Holy fudge. Oh, this has got really tough, actually. I right, know you're using this instead. Can this guy die, please? Thanks for the resurrection, I guess. Man. I guess I'm leaving this in. This is like a super boss fight. Maybe some kind of bonus video. I don't even know. Nah, I gotta leave this in. Man, I'm just following up with Light Blast. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. If he doesn't die from attacks, Grand Cross will finish him. Look at all that, and all we got was that. But I guess we did steal Grass Chamber. Okay, I'm just saving it. Next time, I'm gonna be back at the Albior. Thanks for watching this, like, 33-minute part. And you guys are awesome. See you next time. Buh bye bye